Hey guys, follow me on Twitter. Here's my app. Like, subscribe, and enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Audio's on. Just, just gotta make sure. Alright, hello guys, and I'm back after the uh, the last episode. That went well. All the audio you got. Uh, all I can really say is I'm sorry about that. I'm, I was debating not uploading it, but then you'd have missed out on, obviously, all them games and a lot of the change from episode to episode, so... I uploaded it anyway, it might not get the best, you know, reviews, might get a few dislikes, but what can you do? My audio messed up, so I know what I can really do. But yeah, let's just get straight into the game, and I'll see you over there. And we're back, guys. Um, another rainy day. Um, yeah, that's all I can really say, Wigan. Um, let's just get on with it. Hopefully get three points. Uh, last episode in terms of games, obviously not audio, once again, was a good episode. Um, felt like we played a lot better, but we're going to have Letic here uh, getting a bit lucky with the bounces off the bat. But then we do actually win it there, Luke Erling, of course. Size into Phillips. Roof. Roof's going to try and hold it up. No one's really doing all. Size into Phillips, though. Mbolo. Harrison's making a run, but it's not the best ball, and they win it back in the defence. But we're going to pressure on here. But it don't work, and they just. That is actually a beautiful ball. And that's a beautiful interception by Janssen, and it's another beautiful interception by their man, but Janssen gets it back again. Roof takes it back. Mbolo is going to go through to Saiz. Harrison, top scorer in the league there, as you can see. And it's not the best ball to the back post, and that goes out for their goal kick. <laughs> Hopefully, um, we might actually uh, be able to play three games this episode, maybe not this episode, but the coming episodes. Might be able to play three games in Sim 2, probably not going to be this episode as I said, but that's the plan. It's just going to keep getting more and more. Uh, Mbolo here. Alioski's made a very good run. And he gets it. He's going to get it in. It's blocked. And it goes to them and they just hoof it up. Can Douglas win that? He does. He wins the first one and the second one. Mbolo's there. To Roof. Roof needs to score this. And he does. He just puts it in the bottom corner and that's it. And he knocks all his teammates over. Mbolo there getting an assist. Uh, I did slate him a lot, but we saw by his stats that he did maybe de deserve that player that Mumphy got. And yeah. Don't know why I'm hitting my own hand, but I am, so. Uh, yeah, Roof, seven goals, nice. Seven goals, number seven. Uh, we'll see. Oh, they're getting the ball, they're working it very well here, they could get a goal, it's a good block, there's an open net, it's another good block, it's a good punch, Phillips just gets it away to no one really and it's that they can attack again, Saiz I felt like that might have been a foul in real life there, Phillips with a good tackle, just gets it up, it's not the best pass, but Saiz collects and then they tackle, and then we just pass it straight to them, they could score from this and it would be our own fault. Uh, it's, it's actually, from the turn and the angle with that, that was actually a pretty good shot, to be fair. Almost going in the bottom corner. Phillips there, to Roof. Mbolo. Mbolo's going to go over top to Harrison, who's going to take it back. Saiz is there, Roof. Roof, three second of the game, straight in the same place as last time. And he's just going to do a random celebration, and he does the worm. <laughs> And that's two. We'll uh, obviously watch that again. Nice play there from Harrison. Nice touch to bring it back. Saiz with very good vision. And Roof with very good vision for that bottom corner. Twice now. Oh, close to being intercepted. Roof on the hat trick already. Might be taking his game ball home today. 
I think this might be, if we get it, this might be his first hat trick that we've played. I mean, I know we've had one. I think Saeed's got one or Alioski got one when we simmed. So. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see. Been a very good player for us this year, both Samuel Saez and Alioski. Hansen, Berlin. Harrison's going. Harrison's got miles to run into here. He gets it in back post, it's deep. And it's our corner there. We're going to go in all this space. Ebolo! Oh, what a shot that was. Let's re-watch that one if it comes up, and it does. Look at this, it just runs into space, gets above everyone, and a very good reaction save from the keeper, and a very good reaction shot from Mbolo. Phillips should win that, and then they just head it out, and that should be our throw-in. It's there for a win, interestingly enough. What a touch there from the player, in case you didn't see that, that was amazing. Flicked it over his player's head and just passed it off. Saez bodies someone there and they give away. He gives away the free kick, sorry. Harrison's going to mark the man who's shot. Oh, Harrison wins it there, scrappy. Alioski could be through. Stops the ball. Jack Harrison. And Bolo to Saez. Oh, he loses out just. Ailing's, Ailing's out of position. He's getting back though. Liam Cooper. He was pushing him, but um, playing well. Obviously, Roof getting them two goals. Bit, bit tired. Not really fully, but we are gonna um, bring Rabber on for uh, ha Harrison. I feel like Harrison had a good game, but. His passing wasn't top notch. I mean, he got. I think he did get an assist or an assist of an assist. So we'll take it. But obviously, his passing wasn't the best in the last couple of plays. Rabba's there. Rabba with his could get assist as soon as he comes on, and that's a beautiful finish. That is a beautiful finish, and he's going to fight the corner flag. And it's just Rabba comes on, crosses it in. Phillips just with a cushion header and it's in <laughs> bang and it's a cross goal and there's no one there to stop it Calvin Phillips there as he just said Calvin Phillips, Kamar Roof and Kamar Roof Jacobs Rabba. Oh, it's not the best pass, but he still gets it. Saez into Roof. Roof tries to take it around his man, but his man equal to it there. Powell. Douglas a bit late with a tackle, do not really get anywhere. Cooper's dragging out wide. It's into the box. It's a good cross and it's a good finish into the bottom corner. Felt like maybe the defence were lacking there. Well, he could hardly miss that from the right wing. Excuse me. I uh, feel like the defence were definitely lacking there. The keeper could have done a lot more there to save that, but it's in and it's 3 1. And Bolo here just running into space. He wants it back. He's going to have a go. Oh, I think that deflected then. And that's going to be our corner, definitely. And go to the same place as always. And again, Mbolo going for that. Phillips is going to have a go from this far out. And it, to be fair, it does just go past the post, but doesn't go in. It's going to be a very boring season, though. Just league football, no cup football, as we all know. And that could be a penalty, but it's not. I felt like maybe that wasn't the best tackle, but... We've got away with that one there, and Saez is through. He's seen Roof throw his hat trick. Can he do it? He can do it! Roof, with three goals, he's taking that match ball home with him. Well played, number seven. Let's have a look at this again. 
That's from the dodgy tackle, which I thought might have been a penalty. Straight to Saez, Saez straight to Roof, Roof straight in, bang. Look at that, first touch, second touch, bang. And he's not missing that, is he, for his hat trick. Swerving away from the keeper all day long. Mbolo, once again, having a quiet game, but there's still time for him to bag himself a goal, get him on the score sheet. Phillips there, battling. Roof. It's not gone to him, but he's blocked He's blocked the pass. Phillips is going to battle again, and Phillips, very good game for Phillips, obviously. After Roof getting the hat-trick, he's probably next for man of the match. And Bolo tries to get the shot off there, and it doesn't come off for him. We should really be winning them, but we don't even win the second ball. We do end up winning the third ball. Roof into Mbolo. Roof stopped his run there. But bare miscommunication there. Rabba here chasing. Rabba. And the ref's given advantage, and that's going to be their fault. And what a block there by our goalkeeper, Peter. It's not even Peter, is it? <laughs> Peter Schmeichel. Well, Alan, here's the substitution now. Well, he hasn't got a goal for himself, but made more than his part. Obviously, uh, had a very mediocre World Cup with his dad watching on the sidelines. Um, yeah, for Denmark, obviously, not for anyone else. That would be absurd. But Lewis Baker, with his first involvement, just can't keep it in there. But it does block the corner and stops the cross getting in. Maybe he could do it again. No, Janssen. Wins it. They have a shot and somehow, I don't know how, but that's gone in. Let's watch this again. It's a good cross, straight to edge of box, he passes it. And from that angle, what a goal from that angle, jeez. Oh, it does actually go in off Schmeichel, but it won on target anyway, so. And it's Jacobs again, might have to have a look at him after this, he's been good against. Might have to have a look into him, see if he's fancying leads. Lovely new step over animation this year there. Embolo cuts inside and once again as soon as he's about to pull the trigger gets tackled. Clean tackle. Not to complain about there. Lewis Baker using his strength. He was meant to whip one in and then weirdly it was going out for a goal kick. Clips coming on there just as a carry on. He does actually uh, volley it out for some reason. I don't know why. Clips with his first shot. What a shot it was as well and what a save. Just gets a powerful hand to it. And Bolo there. Trying to get the ball. It bounces nicely to Baker. Baker inside to Klitsch. Klitsch out to... Oh, that would have been offside. That was Alioski there. I just, you know, stopped speaking. Douglas, I think that was winning the header. Mbolo. Mbolo, I think that might be offside. But I think it wasn't. Should play to the whistle. Baker. Missing out on the tackle there. Ailing. Minute left. Clitch there with a good, good tackle. Roof. Roof. To um, Alioski. Keep messing up with his name. This should be it. I feel like the whistle's here. Oh no, he glides past one. They could have had a chance to maybe make it 4-3 there, but they don't. And it ends up 4-2. Roof hat trick. And Calvin Phillips getting himself a goal from midfield. Well played. And uh, we are ready to do some training, so I am actually going to do that. And yeah, obviously the uh, youth player there getting trained up, Roof getting trained up on his shooting and spin speed, Harrison same, and Baker getting just improved on his finishing all round and short pass, which is good. Uh, happy with them improvements actually to be fair, um, yeah 63 rated, young goalkeeper getting ready to come maybe into the big time but as of yeah, still too young, and yeah, I did actually forget the name of that Wigan player who we said we were going to look at, but I remember Jacobs, so we'll we'll type in Jacobs and see what comes up. Didn't mean to do that. Now, 
I don't actually know who it was. Obviously, we knew we played for Wigan. So, what we're actually going to do is look for English League 2. Or the Premiership, Championship, whatever you call it. Wigan. And I'd say maybe were they in the attack? Uh, no, he wasn't actually in the attack. But they do have Will Grigg. Stupid Will Grigg who uh, knocked us out of the cup last year. Man City, obviously. And this is the man who scored two against us. So we're going to have a look what rating he is. He's in excellent form. Maybe he could sign for us. Uh, who knows? He's a left mid. We do actually have one of the best left mids in the world on his team. That man right there, Alioski. But we don't have much depth in that position. So hopefully we could bring someone in. Um, Hungary. No. Just going to ignore that. And we are going to get into the next game. It's going to be a sim game against West Brom. Now, a very hard game, as obviously they have just come down. I did go over this in my last episode. Right at the end, you will have seen me um, going through all this. But obviously there were no audio, so you couldn't hear what I was saying. So let's, uh, let's, um, let's have a look at what we've got in emails. Not really, just players leaving. And it is a way to West Brom, so we're going to watch it instead of just pressing triangle. So let's... Let's hopefully get the three points, one point away from home to a newly relegated side would be good. And in three minutes, the man on form roof scores, but it's only three minutes in. So hopefully we can hold that or score another. Watching it here. Oh, they equalise in the 44th. Making subs. Not really to commentate on at the minute. And roof scores again. He could get and Roof with the two gold. That what's that? Five in two now gets us two gold away from home against a newly relegated side. Two goals, three points, easy. Come on. And we of course have more trading to do again. So nothing really to report on there. Uh, roof sprint speed went up by one, but. You don't really need it as he's already shown and we'll have a look at the top scorers roof now equal with jay rodriguez who um as i've already commented on came in from new no yeah wait yeah came in from newcastle no 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 that was dwight gale jesus don't listen to me i'm thinking uh rondon don't matter um yeah let's i'll see you in the uh oh wait before i go BSC Young Boys have put in a transfer for Luke Ayling and you know what we're going to do? We're not even going to reject it. We're going to block it because he's not going anywhere. Bit of a lead zero is Luke Ayling. Uh, and yeah, as I was saying, I will see you when something significant happens. And we're here guys. Um, just before we get into the game, it's training time. Uh, hopefully, uh, yep. And look at that again. As young goalkeeper going up. Uh... No else really improved there, but that Gallo, Gallo, whatever you wanna, however you wanna say that, no one can really tell us he's a generated player. Not really, um, not really doing too bad. So yeah, hopefully he can be a future star. He's a, he is a scouted future star, as you saw in the uh, first or second episode. I think it was the first episode. Yeah, and oh, sorry about that noise in the background. And Bristol at home. I'll see you when we get in the action. And we're back, guys, on another rainy night. This is becoming a bit of a trend Hi now. Again, and, yeah. So, straight into the game, as always. Uh, Bristol versus Leeds. Mbolo charging forward. Slide tackle there. Yeah, the Don't really come the off for them. Mbolo. Mbolo with an early shot. That could be going in. Oh, looked like it might have just gone in, but obviously it's not. We'll have a look, actually. Oh. Him some stick, but you know, Maybe it won't go in. Maybe just the angle that we were watching from made it look a lot better than it was. That was a terrible shot there. Not really. Uh, Mbolo obviously doing well, as we figured out, but maybe not the best when we're playing with him, there, which is upsetting. But if he's going to do well in sim games, then we might as well keep him. That's a uh, terrible ball round the back there. 
Hill in there with a nice little turn. It's always tough for West Bromwich Albion. Survival equals success for them. So they will oh, be Ruth. Size. But of course, the longer it goes on, the more the relegation anxieties will Nathan. resurface. Well, a lot of points. Ruth bouncing off of everyone here, and they somehow managed to get it back. Still time to make amends, but I don't know. A lot of ground to make up now. Oh, this is not good. Oh, what a save there from Peter Schmeichel. I'm going to keep calling him that. I know it's wrong, but... Obviously, not as much as a legend as his dad, but... Oh, I think he might have got an hand on that. It was a good save. Look at that. Very, very good save. And as I said, yeah, if anyone gets triggered by me calling him Peter Schmeichel, I'm sorry, but I just keep saying it and it's come past the point now where it feels like I need to keep calling him it. Because eventually he might actually be as good as his dad, so hopefully we can uh, maybe get something from this attack. I see the run of Mbolo and Mbolo. Just a perfect run and a perfect ball. Roof, he can do it all. That rhymed. He can get assists and he can score. So yeah, we, everything's going all good for us at the minute. Um, another look at that goal as you just saw there, and it's kick off again. And Bolo winning it there. Roof. Oh, just loses out. I mean, there's a bit of rough and tumble there, but they uh, they managed to keep the ball. Marlon Pack. Um, these uh, did very well in the cup last year, actually. And as they have a shot, they did very well in the cup. Yes, last year. Um, I don't know what I just said, but anyway, let me just get on with it. I've I've just ruined myself. And they do have a good shot, but Casper or Peter. <laughs> I'm going to call him both, I feel like, with a good save. And, yeah, uh, their corner. But, anyway, as I was saying, they did have a good cup last year, obviously. Defeating Man United right at the end and almost... Well, I wouldn't say almost, but doing well against Man City. And then Bolo here, he's on his own. He ain't got anyone with him. And he uses his strength to win it back. He gets it to Harrison. Harrison's going to have a charge forward now, now this is an and he's just attack. to protest, but Roof wins it back, and Bolo, Harrison's going to have a go, oh, that's a good that's save, a good save. I'm going to watch that one again, right, we're going to have a look for options, uh, we're gonna go here. There's a big gap as always. Can Embolo maybe get his head to that? No. But Saez, he's gonna have a go. It's a th oh, it's a good save. We'll have a look at that again. And look at him there. He thinks he thinks he's this and that because he saved a long shot. Shut up. Alright. It's into a good area, and once again it's cleared by them, and it's picked up by Sammy Saiz. Oh, a little bit of skill there. He's going to go into the box. Goalkeeper's most likely going to win that, and he does. And they uh, they just seem to get it out, but Saiz there again, battling. And... Janssen there wins it, no Janssen, Janssen's there to win it back this time, but Phillips is there, Saiz, no one's really making a run so he's going to go to Mbolo, and Mbolo didn't even get to it, wasn't the greatest pass also, wasn't the greatest positioning from our big man up front. I was thinking about the players that we might have out on loan, I'm going to have a look at that after this, see if we can bring anyone back. Uh, Mbolo there making a a decent run. It's it's a this yeah I was gonna say that's a bit of a 
you know, a bit of a naughty tackle there. And uh, we waste that free kick. That one meant for Jack Harrison, but this game decided that they didn't want to didn't want to let me pass to him. So we'll see if we can win the back the ball back. God, I can't England sometimes. And it's just a clearance aimlessly upfield, which you could get some out of here. As I say, that size wins the ball to Roof. Roof's going to try and get it to back post. This could be a goal. And it just goes past his head. Oh, what a way to end the half. Still winning at half time. Um, yeah, I felt like we played well at half. We'll have a look at the match facts quickly. Apparently we didn't. Uh, they dominated us looking at that apparently. Oh, well, I won't say fully dominated, but they were better than us stats wise in the first half. Um, so someone who we don't give much of a run out to, we are actually going to give a run out to. Controversially taking off probably our best striker this season. I was going to say best player, but that might be even more controversial calling him that. And giving someone who doesn't get much game time a run out. As you can see, it with Roberts. Very pacey, actually. We looked at his stats a few episodes ago. He's got decent pace. And, yeah, hopefully he should maybe bang a few goals in, if we're lucky. Or if he's good, might not come down to luck. They do get an early attack there, and we do try and clear it, but once again, the passing lets us down. They do have a pop shot there, but it's not the best. Douglas there with that lovely turn I like to do and he takes it in between both of them Phillips into Embolo Roberts oh and he just goes for the shot and it gets past his foot and the keeper's also there to uh, win it win that in the air Phillips Alioski Roberts Embolo Embolo has a go and it comes off of him their defender this could be Saiz, Saiz gets another goal and it's straight at the keeper. These chances need to be getting put away, or they might come back to bite us. As they get, as they get forward here. Aileen's behind his man, and his man might be in. It's uh, once again another uh, questionable shot. Oh, not the best first touch there, but we still somehow keep possession. Phillips there. Jack Harrison making a very good run. And it's a good first touch again. Remember what happened last time we did a good first touch? It could be. Oh. And they get it out again. This pressure's good, but when we pressure them, they pressure us on the counter. They could get a goal. They've been very counter-attacking this game. And once again, I don't know if that was a shot or a cross. But it's another questionable movement, and it's a questionable movement there by the keeper. They could score, but once again, it's another another questionable shot. I think they're just stabbing at all the shots here, seeing if they can maybe get some. It's nice, calm play on the ball here. Roberts. Roberts has seen the, the short run of Mbolo. Mbolo's going to cut it back, but they somehow get a touch on it. It's Roberts. Roberts, he doesn't get much game time. And he doesn't get the goal he were looking for either. That's probably going to stay in, as I say that. The, uh, it bounces off their player and goes out. Oh, Saiz. Not Saiz. God, Alioski losing out there. I don't know what I were really doing. And that's a good first touch from their striker. I don't know what he's doing. He were through, basically, then. But he could score that, and that's what he were doing. He was setting it up for that. And Saiz is going to come off for Baker, but... That's not obviously what you're looking at, it's this beautiful cross and once again, I don't know what Liam Cooper were doing there, it's just not the best defending and it's a good finish. Um, they also, there's another bad thing about not having cup football, it's Bailey Peacock Fowl obviously, um, the keeper who we not really replaced but got a new starting keeper because he was a bit low. Um, with it being no cup football, we probably won't be able to get him much game time because obviously you pick a league keeper and normally unless injuries whatever come in, that's half throwing somehow, whatever injuries come in, uh, you uh, swap your keeper if you're after, but that's a foul, surely ref, come on. 
Yeah, but in cups you uh, normally do a rotation keeper, and he is our rotation keeper, not the best pass there. So us not being in the cup is probably going to affect our youth players as well, which isn't good, but training's always an option, and the cup next year is always an option. Ah, oh, that's a nice cheeky little pass there from Douglas. The space in the middle to play with. Roberts is there. Alioski's gonna go. Alioski still manages to keep that. He's gonna go for an early cross. It's in back post. Harrison straight at the keeper. We'll listen to it when it matches. Kamar Roof winning man of the match again. No doubt he won it last game as well. Nice passing here. Roberts. Roberts could be in. He's going to have to cut back because that man were catching him. Oh, Phillips. Who's this in the middle? Liam Baker's going to win it there. Maybe. Phillips. He's going to have a go. And that's the game. <laughs> Not really too happy, but looking at the stats at half time, maybe it was a 1-1 a game and... Uh, we did pull it back actually, so pretty even stats all round and as you saw before, Kamai Roof getting the um, man of the match. All the um, scores here, I haven't really showed them too much this um, series, but I cut them out, but if you want, would like to see them, I can leave them in. And here of course is the last game which is going to be simmed. Um, yeah, so we'll... Uh, We'll get into this, it's a home game, but we are still going to watch it anyway after last time. It brought a bit of, you know, a bit of excitement with them two goals that Roof scored, so hopefully we can score again two for Roof, one for everyone else. Come on. And he does get a goal there, does Roof? Not really. Oh, has happened elsewhere. Still 1 0. And 19th minute, 1 0. Kamar Roof, just before I carry on, I just want to say that Kamar Roof, um, Kamar Roof has been very good, not just this episode, all season for us. And credit to him in real life as well. He, uh, he did change his position, I believe, from a, he was either a left mid or a right mid to a striker. And he's proved that he can do it there as well. And in this series, he's proved he can do everything. Passes, assists, goals. I'm sure he might have had a few crosses that he's whipped into the box as well. And uh, he does get his 12th goal, obviously. But J. Rodriguez equals him with 12. And because he didn't it, obviously later he gets it. Whatever, I don't know how all that works. But and Bolo again, winning player of the month. In my opinion, Roof definitely deserves it this time. Embolo's been good, but look at that. Roof's on 12, Embolo's on 8, and I just feel like Roof definitely should have got that. But before we um, before we go, we've got some emails to check, and we've got some training to do. So we'll... Uh, another upgrade again there for the youth goalkeeper. That's, uh, that's going well. And, yeah, so the youth goalkeeper... We spoke about him enough, enough's been said, and we'll uh, play a guy without a player first there, asking for a game. This is the guy who scored two against us. Not the worst physical stats for a 26-year-old player in the second division of English football. Um, technical stats, not the best. Probably not going to sign him, even though he is very cheap. Um, ben Brenton there, or Berriton, whatever you say his name, gonna actually whack a um, scout on him because he's meant he's tipped for greatness for England. Berahino, obviously going on. I think he got the longest goal drought. What it? This guy here, Neketia, gonna whack a scout on him. Um, very good for Arsenal in cup competitions. He's a uh, He's also been tipped for English team greatness. And we'll sim to the next game. Have a look who we've got after that. And then I think that's probably going to be the end of the episode, guys. Um, 
obviously you can see we uh, we played the first game so this is going to be a simmed game next and then QPR will play and then Bolton will sim and then Aston Villa will play and then I'm going to uh, I'm going to be bold and I'm going to sim these two games here just so that we can get this these four games next episode instead of playing these two then these two next episode we can get through the full transfer window which is going to be good so look forward to a bit of a longer episode with uh, six games next episode not all played but you know yeah maybe play three sim three or play two sim the rest because obviously i sim two play two so maybe yeah we'll we'll see um yeah so that's what to look forward to in the next episode uh chef united to start off with good starting 11 as you've seen uh maybe the passing's not the best um yeah but other than that i think we're about done here and uh thank you guys for watching uh Please like, subscribe, comment, anything you feel like you want to comment. Even if it's here, I don't really care, it's a comment. Um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you and peace.